So this is a problem that I see quite often in games and landscapes and that's when you duplicate a texture like grass over and over again you start to see repeating patterns and even if the texture that you're using is tileable you still see these patterns as the texture is just repeating over and over again for instance if you look at this grass right here you can see this dark spot you can see it here you can see it here you can see it here here and you can see it all the way back and it just looks really repetitive and not natural and luckily there's an easy way to fix this in Houdini and I've even made a free HDA for you to be able to do this so let's go ahead and look at it I was looking at OD Force and there was this forum post called Rotating UV Tiles and the question is, is there a way in Houdini to rotate each tile individually like Blender Guru does in Blender? And I looked at that video, Blender Guru, he has this, uh, this cool video about adding UV randomization in the material. And so that's what we're going to be doing in Houdini and I've created, a, as I said earlier, an HDA so that's going to make that process a lot easier. The node that I've created is called UV Randomize, and so you take the out UV and plug it into the UV of your material. And I'm going to fire off the renderer just so that we can see the updates that we're, we're making changes to. And let's go ahead and click on UV Randomize. And so the first thing that we see up at the top is UV Scale, and this is just going to multiply the UVs uh, so that we can duplicate it over and over again. So the higher the number, the more the UVs are going to be duplicated. And so I'm going to set that back to 10. And then we also have three other controls here on this first tab and we have rotation, scale, and position. And so these, these settings are all going to randomize these different um, parts of the transform. So for instance, rotation, if we turn that on, all the UVs are going to rotate randomly. And so you can set a minimum and maximum value. And then we also have scale too right here. And so this is gonna allow you to set different values for the minimum and maximum scale. And then finally we have the position and this is just going to transform the UVs in a random direction uh, to your choosing. There's one more setting that I'd like to take a look at. So let's go ahead and scroll back to the top and then go to the noise section. And let's go ahead and turn this on. And I'm just going to turn the frequency up just a little bit and turn the amplitude down just a bit. And all this is doing is just adding a little bit of random variation to these UV seams so that it's not so uniform. I'm going to go ahead and switch it to the first render. And so this is what the grass originally looked like when you could see all the repeating tiles. Now once you go ahead and add that UV randomization, this is what it's going to look like. Now at this point it's not perfect, but you can't see any of the repeating areas that you could before. And so it's looking a lot better. And once you start mixing this with other colors and with other materials, then it's going to look even better. Alright, well thanks for watching and I hope you found this information useful.